This is the Navigator Thames Terminal in West Thurrock. The terminal has two operational jetties. All gasoline and diesel is supplied to the terminal through these jetties. The Thames is quite tidal, where tides can rise and fall between two to seven metres twice a day. There's a huge volume of water to move, and as a result, there's a significant impact on our shipping. On Saturday the 11th of November 2017, we had a 30 kT diesel vessel, which was discharging on Jetty 1. The vessel, however, hadn't moved far enough away before starting to turn in the river, and the bow struck the front dolphin, causing it to move three metres backwards and three metres sideways. Dolphins are the structures used to take the weight and also to secure the vessel to the jetty when it's alongside. Because it moved so far out of place and had taken an obvious hard hit, we were no longer able to take the large 30 kT cargoes on this jetty. Quite quickly after the accident, we sourced a temporary Yokohama fender, which is the large black rubber object you can see with tyres secured to it. This was used to bridge the gap between where the dolphin should have been before the accident to bring slightly bigger vessels in before the jetty was fixed. The terminal staff were planning the repair with contractors for approximately 10 months. In terms of operational planning, we started that about six weeks before the repairs were due to be undertaken. The Commander Crane Barge is one of only two in the UK of this size. It's a jack-up barge, which means that it has legs that extend down to the river floor and keep it at one level despite the tide. The Crane Barge was towed from along the river and manoeuvred into place by the tugs. During the jetty repair, there was a combination of contractors, navigator and Greenergy staff all working. At any one time, there was approximately 15 to 25 people there. Repair work was undertaken 24 hours a day. The only thing that stopped work was poor weather conditions and when we needed to discharge a vessel to maintain fuel supplies for our customers. These large poles are the pilings used to secure the new fender. These were made locally and brought in in one whole piece. The pilings are 60 metres long and made from steel. 35 to 40 metres of the pilings are actually out of sight below the riverbed. The pilings have to support 60,000 tonnes pushing against them, which is why they are secured to such depths. You can see scaffolding which is around the pilings once they have been put into place. The scaffolding is used to allow the fitting of the frame which a new fender is attached to and welded into place. Once the frame was in place, the scaffolding was then removed. Over a period of six weeks, we had four separate outages of the jetty, totaling 14 days where work was completed. We planned shipping around the jetty outages and thought of ways to discharge vessels as quickly as possible on one operational jetty. This large square platform in the river is a support barge used to move the scaffolding to and from the jetty. With such a project, lots of things have to come into play together to make it a success. We had a number of challenges along the way, including weather, crane damage, and also a delay in the new fender arriving. Throughout all this repair work, the terminal had to operate as normal for our customers, ensuring continuous supply of petrol and diesel. 